All right, guys, welcome. So we're back with some more Fallout 4. Uh, I wanted to take a second to tell you guys how much I appreciate all the love that you guys have been showing this series. Blew me away. I thought we were going to jump in, maybe do an episode. And here we are, I think, episode four? And um, three or four. I forgot. I think it's four. Um, but you guys have been showing crazy amounts of love. I've been having such a good time. Now, before the stream started, I kind of just got everything spun up. I haven't done anything uh, except grab stuff. I checked uh, Carla, Trash Can Carla. What is her name? The traveling uh, salesman here. And she actually had some pretty interesting things in her inventory. Now, as you guys know, I need some screws. Bad. We need a lot of screws. And she even, she actually sells a shipment of screws. Yeah. So, um, Carla. You again. Here to trade. So let's, uh, I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. Let's check our inventory. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of extra, all the, you know, the extra stuff we've been stocking up in our, in our locker for a while now. I, I now have a decent bit of bartering. Th now the thing is, I'll show you guys what I was talking about. So it was, I think it was down here. Yeah. So she has a shipment of screws. Okay. But they're, 888 caps for 25 screws i was like damn that's expensive as hell um but what i was doing is i was going through her inventory and anything that had screws in it i was buying it um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that we're gonna see anything that she has that has screws and we're gonna purchase that item and then we're gonna go ahead and instead of using our caps we're gonna instead barter with her um So items instead of caps. So here we go. Two screws on the desk fan. Two screws on the giddy up buttercup. This thing is 178 caps, chat. Is that even worth it? 178 caps for two screws, two springs, and two steel? I don't know. For me, that we'll come back to that. One of those seems a little expensive. Um, we got a screw here on the, the handcuffs. Only 18 yeah, see what I'm saying? This is it, this is almost the same resources that Giddy Up Buttercup, right? This is two, two, and two. This is one, one, and two, and it's only 18 caps. So I would just say the other, that, that Giddy Up Buttercup just isn't worth it. So we'll grab the handcuffs. It's so expensive. Okay, so here we go. So now we're in the shipments. We're going to grab the shipment of screws, which is 888. So that's already a big, big cost right there. Almost at a thousand caps. All right, let's see what else we can. Okay, so that's it for the junk stuff that she has. She does have some uh, ammo here. But we'll hold off on that. Let's get these screws purchased. So first things first, let's sell these weapons. So you guys easily, we're easily chewing through that money that we owed her. Mad Max donated $10. Friday night surviving the wasteland with Brian and chat. Let's rock. Mad Max, thank you so much for the, for the donation. I appreciate you. How you doing tonight, man? Now, it's good to be here, guys. Friday night. Where I'm going to try to make some good progress today. Because we're not selling this combat rifle. I actually need that. So, sell these double barrels, hunting rifles, laser musket. Keeping that. Look at that. We just with the weapons, we're able to get this purchase down in 49 caps. Okay, so we can throw in some other stuff here. A bunch of this stuff. Down to 18, 13. We'll sell everything, actually, because she has about 242 caps that we can get off of her, so sell as much stuff as we can
We gotta start working on our um, our charisma too, guys. I wanted to get my build done. Obviously, you know, I wanted to keep putting points in, get our build. But man, it's like shit is so expensive. There we go. So 242 will take all her caps. All right, so good trade, guys. We got a bunch of screws. Bunch of screws out of that. So now I'll put all this stuff back. Whoops, did not mean to start. And Junction donated $100. No pressure, but hopefully you do some Vault 81 today and check out their vendor if you do. Andy, no way, dude. Seriously, thank you so much. That's a huge, huge donation, dude. What? Yeah, we got Vault 81 unlocked. Obviously, I haven't. I still haven't been in there yet. Um, but yeah, we do have it unlocked. Or that's showing up on the map. Holy shit, dude. Thank you, thank you for the love, man. I really appreciate you, dude. I was going to sell those wedding rings because they, they fetch a good price. But then I'm like, yo, what is Sean going to think? Okay. Did I do the fine? I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it, man. Okay, so now that we have those screws, um, let's look at altering this short combat rifle here. So the best receiver I can do is powerful. that the long barrel okay we need gun nut three in order to get the full stock short stock will do for now with the large mag we're out of adhesives Okay, so let's, let's see if we can cook up some adhesives real quick. Oh, no, no, you know what? Let's see if she has any for sale. Huh? Carla, I need some adhesives. Carla. Mag. Hold on one sec, guys. I don't know why. I just feel like that we've been playing this game for the past two days, and today I feel like the music is just bumping for whatever reason. Is anybody else? Maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. I feel like the music. Again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. You break it, you buy it. Uh, you can give a uh, wedding ring to Piper, whoever you romance. Wait, you can romance people in this game? I never romanced nobody before. Let's see. I saw that jet, dude. I don't... Let me see. Uh, let me see if she has a shipment of no. Yeah, so no shipment of. Adhesives, uh, nuclear bone springs. No. Okay. So duct tape. Damn. 36 for some duct tape. It's hitting us over the head chat. Not a whole lot of uh, adhesives in these items. Toothpaste, Wonder Glue, buy both. Damn, 154 for some damn. I'm trying to see if there's an ammo caliber that I could sell her, but I already sold all my minigun ammo. We'll just we'll just have to pay. We'll just have to pay. It is what it is. I could trade or something else and get those caps back, but all right, let me see. So combat rifle. We'll put the Let's 
I'll put the combat scope on there. All right, so we're looking good, guys. We went ahead. I sold a bunch of stuff. Uh, now, today, we're going to go ahead, start off this episode by finishing up the mission with those robots. We, we had some missions with them, and then we also had a mission um, from the Cabot House, which sent us up north uh, somewhere. I might have been this museum here. We had to go talk to somebody. So we're going to knock out. We're going to start off with those two missions, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, see this is what I saw. We got, we got Vault 81 here. Um so we're gonna we're also gonna start diamond city today i want to start maybe working with nick and uh, we could probably check out vault 81. why not right <clears throat> all right so let's go ahead and fast travel to the constitution well no let me check the missions first oh yeah we had the mission to clear the starlight drive in too Yeah, so those were the two missions, and I'll mark this one, too. So let's see here. Um, no, so the guard captain mission was up there. Okay, so this is where they wanted me to go, actually, for the uh, the robots. I had to get the bearing for the turbo pumps that were in the captain, to captain's log. So what we'll do is we'll actually go down here to... Um, this rotten landfill, I'll come over, I'll clear the drive in, and then we'll make our way down south towards the turbo pumps. And that's how we're going to start today. Apple Titan with the seven months. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Is this a full series? I mean, this is, uh, I've already, I already have a full series of this on the channel. So if you guys want to see like my very first ever look at Fallout, um, I, like I said, I do have a playthrough on the channel. We're going to be playing this as long as you guys are watching it. Um, like I said before, we're, we're, we'll keep going. And then... Uh, hold on a sec. This we'll put on four. This is two. This we'll put on three. We need to start working on getting more 38, too. Okay, I believe the drive-in is right up this road, right? Yep. But it seems like a lot of you guys are enjoying it. I'm having a blast playing it, as you guys know. It's well, is one of my favorite series, um, gaming-wise. Driving right here. We just gotta figure out what kind of enemy types we have here. Raiders, dogs. See anything. Oh, there we go. We see, see somebody's head right there. Oh, it's a mannequin. God damn it. I'm supposed to be clearing the area up. It seems pretty clear. Now, I am trying to stay hidden because I don't want to piss something off. And then it seems pretty chill right now. Oh, rats. Okay.
Yeah, this is a really nice settlement area. This place is huge, man. I wonder if you could break all these cars down too for resources. Yeah, this would be a really cool uh, basic because it's so flat and you could like probably build something here. A nice spot though, yeah. Fucking man, I can't do it. Oh, wow, that's a lot of rads though. This is definitely booby trapped, so I'm gonna be careful. Ten mil ammo. All right, we're looking good. So now we gotta actually activate the workshop, which is over here. Get if we break down these cars, tons of steel. Hoping to get some like, other pieces and stuff, but steel's good. It's a good resource for base building and shit. I wonder if I delete all these barrels, will the rads go away? Shit, it's just radioactive as hell, dude. Okay, there we go. We got it. Look at this place, man. Look at all this real estate, dude. Yeah, you can definitely do a lot with this area. They want us to build, what was it for the mission? Uh, I believe it was the recruitment radio beacon. So let's see what that probably falls under uh, miscellaneous.
Recruitment radio beacon. Here we go. So it requires one power. I want to set this up somewhere where it's not going to look stupid. Let's do it like right here. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh, we'll do a generator. Which we've got plenty of resources for. remember how the connectors and shit worked the wiring Oh, you don't craft, you don't, you don't clap craft wire. I, like I said, I don't remember, dude. I have, I don't remember. Oh, it says right there, attach wire. I see it. Boom. Okay. So now that's got power. Good to go. So I'm not gonna actually recruit anybody right now, but um. Turn that off because I don't want I don't want recruits coming. I can I mean, not be able to keep up with them. But yeah, we got that active for right now. We have to go talk to Preston. Let him know mission complete. And then we'll head back down here and we're gonna go. You can use condos to power things further away. Something? Oh, there you are, Preston. Hey there. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? No. Cleared the new settlement. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Thank you. There's more settlements. Like Always more settlements. Me. Guess what, chat? Another settlement needs our help. Bet you guys would have never guessed that. All right, so we're going to head to Arcjet here, and then we'll walk south. Another settlement. What the hell is that? Is that a gut? Log in right now. We're almost level 15. Cross them. It's like enclaves. Yeah, yeah I, fig I figured that's what it was like, Lady X. It, it, they're not bad to do, you know what I mean? Because some of the... Ooh, what the hell happened to this dude? It's got a note on him. Some of the, uh, you know, the settlements have some really good resources that we can take advantage of and stuff like that. So I, I don't really mind it. Note. I've got the laser. Now we have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting wise what we're up to. I've stashed it in Lake Juana Poet. Meet you there tonight, Sue. Yes, make sure you're not followed. I think John is starting to get suspicious. Oh. Look at that. We just found a random note on a body and got access to finding some laser. Mr. DeMarc, what's going on? How you doing, man? Apologies, I didn't realize that my membership uh, 
Do it automatically. I've been too busy. Hey, hey, don't worry about that, man. You don't have to worry about that, Mr. DeMarc. It's good to see you, though, man. Seriously, we're going to cut up across the field here. Thank you so much for the super chat. And Andrew with the super chat. Um, been good work. Uh, uh, that's hard finding and watching the stream. <laughs> Um, am I playing with all the DLCs too? So I do have all the DLCs. Um, we, I don't, I feel like Far Harbor, you definitely have to be quite a high level to go there. I feel like a lot of the enemies in Far Harbor are really strong. Um, and Nuka World, I don't know what level we, is best to go there at, but if the, if the, if the DLC areas have stuff that we're interested in getting our hands on, we'll definitely check them out. Yo, I ain't gonna lie though, the show has feral ghouls looking like okay. <laughs> Kind of sucks because I thought I had it got an automatic receiver and I didn't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. So much radiation from that glowing one. Uh, John, it was good, man. I had a good time playing it, dude. I enjoyed it more than uh, that, than Ronin for sure. The combat is pretty awesome. That's why I freaking got that damn receiver, guys. Bought the wrong one. One of your most anticipated games of the year. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So I don't think I have enough screws to. Uh, let's see. No, we need adhesive. Yeah, for this one here. We should be able to scrape up three adhesives, right, guys? I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my liver. Oh, eat corn. Oh, let me see. Where can we go? We got another tree. You know what? We'll, we'll just head down here to uh, the diamond real quick. Mr. DeMarc with the super chat, man. For not having shot dog meat. No, man, I told you. It was, it, it, it was an isolated incident. 
You know what I mean? Okay. Let me see. Fresh meat. You sell corn, ain't lady? Selling nothing else, so decide what you're getting. Oh, she, well, she sells mean than me. Just pulled this. Oh, she does have a corn, so we can get. So that works. I mean, we got one corn wow. so far. Takahashi. Yes. I think this guy only sells noodles. Yeah. Got too much dirt in huh? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. The hub of trade for all. And they sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Sure. Let's take a look. A bit of everything. She has. So we can screw there. Adhesives. Uh, put the duct tape. Yo, why is duct tape so Congrats expensive? Congrats for not having shot dog meat so far this playthrough. Um, we well, got two hot plates. Why not? Good mop. When do we get to see you in Fallout 4 VR? <laughs> Smiley face. Um, oh, so damn, look at the, how much the shipment of adhesives is in. 2,900 caps. That is absolutely insane. Um, and Miko, thank you so much. Or Michael, thank you so much for the, uh, the super chat. I own Fallout 4 in VR. The only problem is um, VR definitely requires you to have what they call VR legs. And um, I started getting back into VR until I had to change up the, uh, to the office and all that. So I, I, I definitely want to get back into doing some more. Um, and I think it'd be pretty cool to do some Fallout in VR for sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about when I would be able to pull something like that off. You know what I mean? So I was able to get my hands on uh, some adhesives and a few more screws. So I just wanted to change up this rifle. To be exactly what I wanted it to be. I'm Mr. Link. Holy crap, brother, with a 31 months, man. Uh, have you seen the fan made Nuka Break show? I have not, Mr. Link. No. Okay, so. Swap out the receiver for the armor piercing automatic. Now, I want to see one thing real quick. I have that other receiver that I built, right? The, um, powerful, right? So let me see. If I drop this on the ground, can I go into build mode and, no, you can't. You can only store it. I was wondering if I'd be able to, uh, like scrap it, but you, you can't. Won't let me scrap it. Whatever. It's all good. But now it's an automatic, though. Something's in my eye. Hey, Brian. Been watching your content for a while now. Great to see you playing my favorite game. Hey, Dedrick, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. A huge super chat. And um, this is honestly one of my favorite games, so it's easily my favorite Fallout game. Uh, but when I say, like, open-world RPGs, like, Fallout 4 definitely sets the standard for a lot of games in my book. Um, you know, being able to just kind of go out and get lost in the world, it just, it's just, it's not very often that you get to do... Um, you know, you get games like this where I literally feel like I can go turn it on and live in the world. You know what I mean? I 
Am I a boxing fan? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I watched the Ryan Garcia and Geronte Davis fight back in the day, but I don't really keep up with any of that drama shit. So you guys know me. I, I, I truly don't care. Nice hot plate. Anything with screws and stuff, we're, 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 we're snagging it up, Jack. Snagging it up. All this dude's moon monkey. Dude, once you're actually looking for resources for crafting, man, you kind of look at all this stuff differently. Like before, to me, it was just like, oh, there's a bunch of random crap laying around. It's like, no, nah, dude, like this random crap you really need for for certain things. I don't know. Might need some glass, so we'll grab the glass. Are we going to head inside this location? <laughs> Not getting in this way. But yeah, I was saying earlier, Chad, I was blown away by how they have the feral ghouls in, in, in the show. I was like, man, yo, feral ghouls are extra scary, dude. Yeah, the scrapper perk definitely would help a lot. Um, the only problem is we need to put like five points into intelligence in order to get access to it and uh, there's just so many other things i want to put points in right now because i want to get my build set up uh, so we can start fighting the way i want to fight and then once my build is decent um i'll start you know spreading points out all over the place i uh, just got some jet not that not it's for mama murphy jet you guys remember it's for mama murphy What did it take to craft jet again? Oh yeah, fertilizer in plastic. Wait, what? Oh, we can make psycho we can make our own psycho jet though, just by combining our psycho and our jet. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and we got some XP from that. Oh, I did not mean to use that. Awesome. Great. This is a main quest location? Oh, cause I had a side quest bringing me here. Yes. 
I mean, what does it matter if I go... If I come here beforehand? Will it mess things up? Chat, I, I'm already on a mission, dude. I'm just here for the... Movement detected. Curious. Is someone present? Oh, I could break the game. Yeah, you ain't lying. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what game we were Hello, playing here for a second. My scanners must be. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what game we were playing. Fuck around to have a a, a dead quest. It might it not might it might not mess it up, but yeah, definitely not one of those things you want to mess around with if if we don't have to. I mean, at least we got the location. Okay, so we'll we'll take that quest down for now, I guess. Um, special delivery was up north, so we'll head up that way. Now, I, I want to kind of walk this road and explore. Uh, fa like, I could fast travel, obviously, and be right here, but I wanted to walk this road here in between the Constitution and this area and see if there was anything on this road. Um, it was the robot quest that sent me there. It was uh, the robot. Uh, they sent me there for some piece for their turbo pump. Yeah, these guys in this in the ship here, the USS Constitution. They're the ones that sent me up that way. Oh, I did level up too, by the way. Let me. So we're gonna get Ninja. And then our next two points are just gonna go straight into agility, and then we'll get Blitz. No, we're not. We're not playing in uh, survival mode. I, I, the first time ever time I played this game, I played survival, but survival can be quite tedious, um, and. For the sake of the playthrough, we're just we're just playing hard. There was some super mutants over there. We might be able to bypass these dudes. Super mutants are a pain in my fucking ass. So a headshot ain't even gonna do it to these dudes. I'm gonna take a couple shots to drop these guys. Forgot about the extra stealth damage from that we just got from Ninja. But on very hard, all that's gonna do is just make it uh, the enemy super stupid tanky. Super mutant orders. The enemies are already tanky enough. Um, I read that note real quick. Super Mutant Orders. Kill, loot, return. There it is.
Very, yeah, I, so what I, the thing is, is once I get higher level, I might end up switching it over to very hard. If you know, obviously, if we get going that far, but as of right now, uh, more legendary enemies just mean more bullet sponges, which, like, yeah, getting some better weapons would be cool, but we get enough legendaries. It's not like we've been not seeing them, we've been, I've killed quite a few already. So, nice intersection here. Seems clear enough. That sounds like my mission. <laughs> Kill, loot, return. Settler location is. Is this a settlement? Yeah, I think so. Got a workshop bench. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. You guys are in a shitty spot, I'll tell you what. So that turret is enemy. place the national uh national guard training facility okay this is the first battalion 101st field artillery regiment turrets for now. Oh, shit, dude. A lot, a lot of turrets here. We got super mutants over here. Of those satellites. Looks like a big base, too. Yeah. Damn, 45 caps. Gutsy is not friendly. Looks like this is my lucky day. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about that. <laughs> That gun did nothing to him, dude.
it, man. We found a set of T51 in here, man. It's missing the same parts that mine is also missing. <laughs> right leg, left arm, dude. We have we got a set of T51 here, and it's got a core in it. And the core's at 100%. So once I get find another travel point, we'll, we'll, we'll get this armor back to base. All fusion cores you find will be at 100%. I think the set we have at base is T45, right? If I'm not mistaken. The T51 is not a bad. There ain't no T60, but for X01. Forged. Location marked on the map. Why, 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 why is this? Fuck. Dog me's taking one for the team, bro. Fighting that death claw? <laughs> this place is no joke, man. There's a whole fucking army there. I think they're fighting the death claw. What happened to dog meat? He took one for the team. Oh shit, they, they killed the death claw, guys. Don't worry, dog meat's like a cat, guys. He has like nine lives. Told you. There he is. Don't worry about dog meat. He knows how to play dead. Did not expect a freaking death claw, though. Like, seriously? <laughs> Holding a stick, this is a sword. He 
Man, this guy, people are savages in the wasteland. Just running around setting each other on fire. And... See, see, Cheyenne did not have nine lives. Oh, dog meat did, though. Cheyenne, no. That was uh, one shot. And uh, it was not my fault. Oh yeah, this was the people that hate me now, right? I can't this place. These people were not happy. Joseph, how you doing? I I actually think the missing pieces might be in the the work uh, red rocket workshop. So that's that's a good point, dude. So I, I remember I, I was pretty sure we had the full set, but uh, yeah, I think two of the pieces did get uh, destroyed. But we could check that later on. I'm actually gonna be bringing the suit over to the Red Rocket, anyways. But you guys want to fight? What are they gonna want, chat? Is he gonna try to hit me up for money? <sighs> I don't aim guns at me. I didn't do anything. Gunners over here. See what these guys want. They're not shooting at us, so what? Hey there. Not another step. We'll let you through for five hundred caps. Come on. Do I look like I can afford that? Yeah, you do. And if you can't, I don't care. And if I don't? Then you die. Any more questions? There's no way, guys. Like... Who's actually gonna pay these people, Chet? Not 
a chance. It's your funeral. Was a choice. They made the wrong one. That's <laughs> he said I wouldn't. <laughs> Isn't there an armor in the because isn't there a suit in the game that you can customize like power armor where you can put the jetpack on it? So I remember the jetpack can be attached to power armor, but then I, I, I felt like there was a suit or armor in the game that wasn't power armor that you could still put a jetpack on. Or am I just tripping? Or am I thinking of Fallout 76? Up, dog meat. The whole fucking death claw right there. Why? So, is there no jetpack in this game? A new merchandise. That Tracy, thank you for the super chat. New merch idea. That was a choice. Yo, it was a choice. You know what I mean? There is just, oh, so it just needs to be power armor. death claws around I feel like I'm definitely somewhere I don't need to be two things I want to see on the fallout TV show whether it's this season or future seasons guys death claws would be cool and um, super mutants uh, try hard thank you so much man for the super chat have I found the vault settlement you can build vault 8 I haven't found Vault 88. I found Vault 81, though. Oh, we haven't gone to it yet, though. Okay, so this is the asylum. Mercs here. Let's go dump. Have you found the vault settlement you can build? Vault 88, I think. Not Talk sure, TBH. If you need anything. Thought I was about to go down. I thought the, the mercs were red, man. When I looked at them, they were red, but. All right, let's, let's head back. Oh, we have not cast. We not yet, dude. Uh, that's he's gonna be after this. We're gonna head back to uh, the town to start working with Nick.
Well, after Vault 81. After Vault 81. Alright, so let me go ahead. Park this power armor here. I'll take out the core. If you don't take out the core, once your people get in it, I mean, not that I would mind if they got in it. Like, will my people use this power armor? I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beat to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Oh, raiders will too? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking Grand Theft Auto, my power armor. Leave it to ask you, kid. Mama Murphy, what is it? I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? She wants a chair? Can't you just use any chair? The site's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains, even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age, but it really helped me out, kid. Sure, be glad to help. Thank you. Build Mama Murphy's chair. What? You're gonna love it rolling on the floor, laughing best base location, hands down. Oh, for Vault 88? I think I unlocked it in my first playthrough, and I didn't do much with it, though. What's going on? And Andrew, uh, so Tryhard, thank you so much for, for the Super Chats. I really, really appreciate them, man. And Andrew with the Super Chat, you can get the jetpack by upgrading the power armor stations like you do with guns. Uh, you should check out Fall. We're going to be checking out Fallout London, Andrew. Yep, as soon as it's available, man, I'll be playing it. Um... Where should we put Mama Murphy? I mean, this is kind of the lounge area. So we'll get Mama Murphy her chair here. She needs somewhere special for the site. There we go. So let me uh, head down to the Red Rocket real quick. I'm going to see if I actually stored that power armor pieces in here. I don't know where that cow come came, came from, Gatsby, honestly. <clears throat> I have no clue where the hell that cow it just it just was there, dude. There it is. T45, left arm, right leg. So we'll get that stuff. Fine, dog. Right? cave over here somewhere yep yeah, right there okay yeah I, I knew there was like a little cave here somewhere mole rat den uh, let me get let me get these pieces back up the base real quick when it get my power armor fully done up uh jj thank you so much for the super chat man uh how many videos a day did I post? Uh, I used to only do one, maybe every couple days. I, I, I you can get the jetpack by upgrading at the power armor station, like Yah do with guns. 
You should check out the Fallout London mod. Um, yeah, I didn't start streaming as much as I do now until, like, let's say the more recent years. Repair all this. see so there's i just want to try to see the different materials yeah so they have the different paint jobs with power armor um recon sensor vats matrix overlay targeting hud rad scrubber headlamp i think it was the torso right where you can put mods yeah so we could do a stealth boy um on the Torso of the power armor, blood cleanser. And jetpack. So I got my full set right there took the core out the other one so we should be good let's head back uh anthony with the membership welcome to the family uh child with the eight months hope the family is good uh really happy doc needs still with us <laughs> hey listen i told you it was an isolated incident. Oh, right, I think this, this is place the... is off limits. You best move along. Maria, relax. Edward sent me. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure, assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Okay. Good thing I didn't shoot first. <laughs> I almost shot at those dudes, too, but I had the power armor, so I was like, I'll swap. I'll get rid of the power armor first. Dog, what you find? That's what I'm talking about, dog meat. Yeah, I don't remember dog meat doing that in my first playthrough. Or that, I never paid or I never paid attention. We already got over 500 likes, seriously? That is crazy, man. This, whatever that area is there. see anybody there we go wow skull seriously So 
problem is I start shooting at these radars from here. I don't have very good visibility in this building. One. They press me, that's gonna be the issue. They pressed us, they couldn't find us though. The serum. She killed her own man, though. She was just she was like, blah, 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 boom, and just shot him. Now, how high does your stealth traits have to be to be able to hit people in melee with stealth? Ability on this one is way worse than the other gun we had, man. At 38, the recoil on this is fucking insanity. Actually preferred the pipe. This, um, the recoil on the other one is just—it's crazy.
use the serum. Um, you gotta try to get me in trouble. Locks really strong. Uh, I'm trying to get paid, chat. We're, we're, we're trying to get paid. No, 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 not that's it. I just meant like, how, how, because all I wanted to do was like, if say like this body was an enemy, right? Facing that way. Right now, if I'm crouched and I try to sneak up behind somebody, I get like this close and they like, they like sense me or like they know I'm there. Um, so obviously I need to get my stealth better. I want to be able to just like sneak up behind people and fucking whack them. You know what I mean? For the, the stealth damage. Obviously, if I activate, like, a stealth boy and shit, I'll be good, but... The light armor helps, too. Uh, Thomas, hey, day's been good, man. Day's been real good. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll turn this mission back into Cabot. Uh, yeah, I only have one point in stealth right now. I think... We, or maybe two points. Maybe we're at 30%. And I'd, I'd have to check it again. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, her. Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Mm -hmm. Again. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack. How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. Well, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get involved, Tim. I'm just I insist you send someone to find Imogene. He's trying to get paid, dude. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Is there some kind of reward, dude? When do I get paid? We'll get to that. First, I need to know what happened to the courier. Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? What's so important about this serum? You're getting paid to follow orders. Your orders were to get it back. That's all you need to worry about. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That's it? That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. You paid me 150 caps, sir. I can't believe you don't care. That doesn't even... Jack. That does not I'll even cover the ammo I used. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? 
You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. But she won't come, What then? if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? We need to we need to start wearing some uh, some clothes and stuff like that too when we're trying to convince people. We need to switch into charisma clothes before conversations. Uh, have I ever? Yeah, I think I did this quest. Um, I don't remember much about it though. And again, I want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out tonight. So many of you guys enjoying this. It really means a lot to me. Have I, I've, I've been, I started watching the TV show. Yes, Thomas. Yeah, we started watching the show. I've, I've watched, I think, three episodes so far. Okay, so... The area is right down here. The third rail right down the main road.
of the same fucking wall. Yo, how did... Okay, whatever. Should be all of them. <laughs> Gamma rounds. <laughs> For should be right around here, right? That was a fucking legendary. We got the safe crackers raider left leg. Increase the size of the sweet spot while picking locks. That's not bad. Dracker with the super chat. My milkshake brings all the boys. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. Love the, What do you mean? What fallout sneezers? And you really just had me sing that whole song, bro. I thought I thought like you were gonna it was gonna be some rendition, but you really just had me singing it. I see how it is. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up. Nope, see? Wouldn't have been close, dude. Um, out of all the faults, what is the best one to play? I, I, I feel like it all just depends on you. Um, I personally think Fallout 4 is the best, in my in my opinion. I don't know. This has to be the, the way in, right? Oh, this ain't even it. This is I'm such an idiot. Never mind, Chad. Disregard. That bookstore, it has something in it, though. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. Loving Fallout Sneezers. Yeah, the issue I had with New Vegas was it was just too dated. Um, but New Vegas was awesome too. I really, really enjoyed New Vegas. Uh, I like the uh, the main story, like, progression in New Vegas, you know, with House. All that. I thought that stuff was really, really cool. Um, but I, personally, I like the, the factions in Fallout 4 better than the factions in New Vegas. I know some people probably won't agree with that, but I, I, I do personally really enjoy the factions in this one a bit more. And I feel like with Bethesda games, it's, it's the, the factions really like really make the, the game, you know what I mean? Poison got him.
What factions? You got you got the Institute. You got the Brotherhood of Steel, which is my I absolutely love. You got um, the the railroad. Yeah, I bet I think I've been to this place before. Yeah, then you got the railroad, um, the Minutemen. There, there's tons of factions. I feel like the weakest faction out of all of them is probably the Minutemen. Uh, faction, but uh, I, I personally like Brotherhood of Steel, so good. Um, Institute's pretty good, and I never even did the hey, full hold up there. First time in good neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. Bro, what are you talking about? What insurance? Insurance, that's right, insurance, personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through. Hold on, let, let me put, let me get some charisma gear on. Let these dudes start messing with me. Did I, I think I dropped my gear, actually. Damn it. I mean, it's all good. It is what it is. They paid the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day. There'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. So much for Hancock being soft. Oh, nice. We got another level. Let's hit that real quick. So we got to jump. Two points into agility. Daisy's discounts. Excuse Everybody me. here a ghoul? Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? She doesn't even look that bad for a ghoul. Sure. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of everything. All right, so she's got ammo. Um, guns. Nothing really all that great, though. There's still reduced damage from humans by 15%. There's increased wear's movement speed by 10%. Oh, man, those are really nice. I like this leg piece a lot. Especially because I'm using melee, so being able to close that gap is important and movement speed would be freaking awesome but it's expensive we're talking 1100 caps if i can make up for that See if I can make up for that 1100 caps. I 
That's got a nice mag on it. I actually want to take that mag out of this 10 mil and put it in my 10 mil. Yeah, we're really not putting a dent into this thing right now. We're barely putting a dent into this stand. Uh, I do got gold bars, actually. I stored them, actually. Crap. Pay a good bit for fusion cores. And for mini nukes. So 848 caps um, for that armor piece. I think I'll do it and then uh, we'll make a trip back here and try to see if we can get some of those caps back. Sell these. I'm not going to use it, so I might as well get rid of them. So now that should give us 10% more movement speed. Oh, this guy's got a fat man back there. Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. So this is an assault shot. Right? Sure. Let's take a look. A gun for every occasion. Chinese officer's sword. Still not better than the one I have. Say combat shoddy machete. Party starter, pulse grenades, pulse mines, rolling pin. Right. I'd get some good work out of this place. I never even tried to. I don't think I've ever tried to like talk to people around here and see if there was any missions or any anything you could do for people around here. <clears throat> hey. says newcomers are welcome in the third rail 
Go on in. Hey. Enjoy your stay. Taking anything out of here is considered stealing. Jet. How are you just gonna leave Jet laying on? Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Oh, you ain't gotta worry about me, brother. Do your thing. But he has some jets sitting behind him, Jet. song is over. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCree? He's in the back room. God, God I, I love, love this song. song. Goodbye, Vincent. Now, is your motor running close? Take a look. Sure. Here's to drowning solos. Uh, he's got bourbon too. Got whiskey. Oh no 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 no! One thing of whiskey. Hold on one sec, guys. Now that you're lick it up got a proposition for you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? Yeah? Sounds up my alley. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know when it is. Wait, 200 caps? Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Listen here, you. I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with no iron gun. Now the client's offering 200 for the job, and 200 is what you'll get. I don't do work, unless I know who's paying the bills. Not your concern. Now, you're taking the job or what? I don't have any charisma codes on me right now. But what the hell is 200 caps, man?
For three locations? Yeah, my charisma's real low. Like, real, real low. Oi, I'm talking to you, Gov. This is better than no caps, right? I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. That's right, good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> we'll yeah. be right back. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Why, hello. Did you like the song? Yeah. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking, right? Quick on the draw. <laughs> so what brings a man like you to my part of town? You think. What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. Dog me, it's like, I got you, dude. Hey, Magnolia. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Well, let's see if she knows anything. Jean. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. I just need to know where she is. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but... Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that... Preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. <laughs> then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. But this robot has me over here pulling hits. Um, Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. You step through the gate. You got balls. Huh? There's someone Don't in the bathroom that. here. Oh, yeah, Mac they send Can't McCready, say right? I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. 
Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. <clears throat> Get out of my face. Chop yours off, dude. Oh my shit, man. Jet sitting right there on the table, dude. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Never heard of the gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but they never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Jesus Christ. Front. There's no room for bargaining. Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? Something wrong with your hearing? I just told you I'm not going to negotiate. So are you in or should I get back to my drink? Should we hire him, chat? Last A, I appreciate it. Check on top of the toilets for a magazine. Hello. Anyone in there? We're talking 250 caps, though. So if I hire him once, though, if I if I pay for the for this once, I don't have to pay it again, right? Come back down to Earth, spaceman. You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Oh, yes. Yeah, even now we could send dog meat away. Um, we'll send dog meat back to Sanctuary. Now McCready's following us. So can I, like, steal shit with him now? He's like my partner or whatever. He won't care, right? Hey, ever been to kill to be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. There it is. Live and love. Nice. Companions permanently gain 5% damage resistance and enemy re or energy resistance. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. I never met Curry in my first playthrough. I, I I didn't. The companions, I definitely I definitely lacked. I I lacked a lot on this a, a lot of the Let's side content in this game. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? 
Didn't I see you on a date with Murawski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. Did we get some jet? They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. The only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good, good neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hey, hey, of, of the people. people. For, For the, the people. people. Smell that? That's freedom. Yeah, maybe. Spitting motivation out, dude. Why do I remember this place? Isn't there a mission here? Or a mission that brings you here? Isn't this that dude from the railroad? I think you've stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? Drugs? Oh, this place looks like a drug den to me. <laughs> you sound like my partner. She never did like the drapes or the colors. But you're way off the mark. It's the memory den, not the drug den. We're obviously not what you're looking for. I mean, you're cautious. I respect that. But I think I can handle it. If you'll just give me a chance. Well, I suppose there's no harm in giving you a trial run. Now, memories involving other people are easiest. Recent events involving loved ones. Uh, does anything come to mind? My wife died recently. If I could see her just one last time. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. It's never easy losing someone that close to you. But I think we can help. All right, sit down in the lounger. Let's see what memory we can find. Yeah, I guess you can come here before uh before the main mission. Mari, we have a can you find a memory we can plug into? What kind of memory are we looking for? Our client is was married. See if you can find the memory of the spouse. All right. Scanning the hippocampus. I found something very recent. The sink with the temporal lobes is strong. That, 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 that's the one. Lift the curtain, honey. It's showtime. Here you are. Your memory. Just relax. We'll be monitoring your vitals on this end. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Oh, shit. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... 
Find her. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Why are you doing this? Come here. Come no, here, wait. baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. God. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. We are reaching the end of the memory. Hold on. Try to calm down. Your blood pressure is spiking. I'll have you out of there in three, two, one. I never did this before, Chai. I never like came into this place. Have any of you guys come? Come into this place without the main mission? Easy. I'm so, so sorry. If I had any idea that we were going to put you through that again, I would have said no. Those people kidnapped my son. I have to find them. Oh, I wouldn't even know where to start, honey. No, what, what you need is a detective. I have a friend, Nick Valentine. There's another Nick cookup. Diamond City. Trust me, honey. He's the best. He can find anyone. I see another memory of my son. Hey, Irma. Nick Valentine, honey. Diamond City. He'll help you. There's a magazine and a bobblehead in there? Skirt! What is it? You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hey there. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Alan, how you doing? I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B -b but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Silver Shroud? What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. That sounds familiar. You'd remember him if you heard his show. 
They're the best detective shows in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? What's your paying, dude? I might do it, if you make it worth my while. When you're done, I got a reward all squared away. Will you just help me out? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Never did this mission. I didn't even, I never, I don't even think I ever came in this room the first time we played this game. That's crazy how much stuff you can miss. Like, like no bullshit, guys. I, I got like 300 hours in Fallout. And like after like kind of fine tooth combing through the game right now, like, and I wouldn't even say we're going super hard fine tooth comb, but it's so, I like, I honestly, I feel like I maybe did like 40% of the game. And I did like all the factions uh, for the most part. I did, um, the DLCs and that, they, they, there's so much stuff in this game that you could ju you just miss. Like there's so many just NPCs just randomly sitting on a couch somewhere. You just talk to them and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, I got this whole mission for you. And it's like, oh shit, dude. I, Your not... memories of Vault 111? I'm so sorry we put you through that again. Can't pick this. Secret locked door down there, dude. I wanna get into the secret locked door. Maybe this terminal. Just in case. Old stuff worth anything? Shut up. <laughs> Ken Cock So you can't open the door for me, fortunately. Glad to see you again, honey. I hope you're doing better.
get in there through the mission. Okay. Doesn't say yeah, that's that's locked as hell. Hey, ever been to kill to be killed? Can't believe it. You look just like Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood walk. I mean, oh, he really was a synth. Got a reason to be bothering me. I thought they just killed somebody. Uh, no, they, they actually killed a synth. It had synth components on it. Reds, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun it's in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Bye. Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end chems, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Tell me more about this Morowski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top, until someone stronger kicks them down. Now are you buying this room, or not? You just keep asking her questions, dude. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? <laughs> nah, Mark. Gonna pass. Mark another in the moocher column. Hey there. You're new around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Seems like my kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but beats cowering behind the walls of Diamond City, that's for damn sure. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. Oh yeah, dude, what's the job? What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all, does some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. I assume this is a paying job. Wasn't planning on stiffing you. A hundred caps and a cut of the beer. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? These people are cheap asses, dude. Like we, like I, I never felt like I needed charisma so bad, guys. What's the catch, dude? What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Are you gonna take the job? Hundred caps, dude. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big green sign. Bring it back here when you're done. 
Yeah, I never did any of this stuff. Oh, this was the guy I was looking for. Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Home brewed, reasonable prices. I don't even say anything, chat. Sure. How do you know? This is gonna be great. How do you know? This jet's a little expensive. Uh, let me see. So I wanted that for the magazine. Uh, I want to keep that. All these guns I want to keep. Do not turn that in a machine. Keep it for yourself. Why wouldn't I turn it in? I mean, he's, he, he's got a little jet, but it's a, it's a little pricey right now. But we're still not at that point in the game where we got money, so... Kind of nickel and diamond still. I just clean up around here. So we just use that free jet. Was oh, this the mayor dude or the guy that owns this place? Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door. Okay, get the hell out. What's up, Morowski? You want a room? Claire runs the desk. Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck. Hey, you find that brewing machine yet? The Vault Tech rep is up. I, I, we should go check upstairs. I didn't. I didn't check up the stairs. Guys, I want to thank you guys. Already almost 800 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> what? No, it can't. It, 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 it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? Are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. 20 years of loyal service. And now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Al Stasis. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Hey, dude. All right, bro. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? Uh, I'll see you there. Yo, he's mad happy, chat. We just we just recruited the Voltec. The Voltec dude.
you're going to come visit, right? I got yeah, I gotta add some beds to the sanctuary. I think that's two people that we got now. Yeah, he just he just joined up. That's what's up though. That's what's up. Alright, so we got a bunch Your of work. McCready's got a rep here in good neighbor. Bad attitude. Good enemy. I've already cleared that area out. So I wonder how this is going to go. Damn it. I got you. I appreciate it. How you doing today? Game is old and outdated. I mean, even though it's old and outdated, it's still funner to me than 90% of most games that come out to this day. But you also know if you don't like the game, you don't have to watch the stream, brother. That's the the glory of uh, of YouTube. Dude, look at that gun, dude. Andy, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Do not do blood bugs or blood. blood. The hell was that? Hey, Jay, what's going on? How you doing? All right, yeah, so we're going to head over to this amphitheater. Now, we cleared this area before. This is where that... Um, This is where that group was, the um, the little mafia dudes. Uh, and stuff. We're splitting all that, right? I don't, I don't remember what happened to those dudes too. Shit, there's a fucking bear over there. It's in the town. Infection free. Yeah, Sham, I seen the I seen the thing for it. Yeah, see, I don't something happened to all these people here. It's a mystery. Oh. All your peeps, bro. Brother Thomas. Hi. Welcome, neighbor. We're always Why glad to see a so new face around here? here. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement so did, and how you can. Did they respawn this dude? I'm looking for Imogene. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors.
I'm not leaving without seeing her. You can't see her. She, uh, can't come out of her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I killed the last guy who was running this scam, in case that matters to you. Maybe they'd rather spend the last few seconds of their lives with a gaping hole in their chest. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. <laughs> Yo, I like the fact that my character actually um, acknowledged the fact that we killed everybody that was already here. And then, the, yeah, and then he was to say, hey, we killed the last guy that was running this place. <laughs> We got the key. We already looted, looted this place out. Eugene, you're free to go as soon as I loot this room. Okay, so who let the cleaning robot loose in here? You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Yeah, she is way older than her brother, isn't she? You're Jack's <laughs> sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought he could force me to join his absurd cult. Um, he's dead. Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides... He shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. All right, so we got... What was that? Other mission that is at, oh, okay, so we can, we can go back and turn in the Cabot House mission. Uh, we'll, we'll just do that first. Yeah, we'll do that first. We'll fast travel. <clears throat> Am I doing anything with railroad? We haven't uh, run into railroad yet. Like we haven't got any missions with them yet. Um, but I, I, I do like the railroad quest line. I think they give you the option to like get the, the armor modifications, right? The ballistic lining or something. I, for, I forgot what it was that made him so good. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I think it was like the ballistic weave or something like that that you get. Uh, PSC, yeah, I've been doing uh, wool, uh, YouTube full time for a while now. Let's go turn this in. Yeah, 
very bad feeling about this. You hear me now, Edward. Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Whoever lives here must have made Edward, a deal with the devil. Over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? See now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? There's no time for that right now. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yeah, it was my money, dude. I found her, as requested. Now what about my pay? Oh, yes. Uh, Edward usually handles these things. You want caps, I suppose? Hmm. Let me see what I have. Here. I hope this is close to your usual fee. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Uh, okay. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And... Try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Yeah, that sounds now awesome. I really do have to go. Uh, gruesome with the one year, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, dude. Fall off where it goes hard. But, hey, it's, everything's going good, man. It's going good. And I'll, with the super chat, just bouncing in to remind all the chat that Brian, uh, he's a slaughtered innocent puppy. Oh, uh, the lies, dude. Just bouncing in to remind all of chat that Brian isn't what he seems. He's slaughtered innocent puppies. He's brutally sucker punched sweat cookie baking grannies, and he has a secret life on Jig Jig Street. Chat beware. I see how it is, Al. What happened on Jig Jig Street was supposed to stay on Jig Jig. How are you going to come in? That was a promise. I never slaughtered any puppies, dude. You, you shoot one dog. I don't know. Maybe two dogs. Maybe I've only shot a I, I, Maybe I've shot more than... A, I don't remember how many dogs. It's not been that many, though. A few. We'll just say I've shot a few dogs.
There's not no few hundred, dude. Ready? Get out of here. Let's go. You should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Well, I wasn't I wasn't ready for all this, chat. You see what I'm saying? It's like you punch one grandma, now I'm a serial grandma puncher. I punched one grandma, you know what I mean? And now I'm a granny puncher. I shot one dog. Well, it's the artifact that's made Lorenzo maybe, so dangerous. Maybe like two I'm or three sure his psychosis dogs. would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. But you know, you shoot a few dogs and now you're a, a serial dog shooter, you know what I mean? I don't shoot all the dogs. Get out of here. It was like a couple. And they were on accident. Like in Fall in Far Cry 5, that one dog, I didn't even shoot it. I, I was just, it was just in the car with me when I went over the cliff. And then I bailed out the car we and it have stayed in. By and, now that my family and I have lived for a very long time. And caught on fire. Thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. I eventually isolated the anomalous compounds which led to the serum treatment we still use. I'm well aware of the apparent conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I had the chance, I would gladly give it all up to have my father back, even for a short time. Actually got quite a distance to travel, dude. Uh, you would thank you, thank you for the super chat. One bad accident is all it takes for viewers to remember. But it wasn't like I shot the dogs on purpose. Like, you know, it was an accident. Old school, thank you so much for the super chat. I follow up, it's okay. I've been great. I've been taking care of my I'm trying to do my job. I work from home, it's hard. Follow up, it's a bit highly to eight. Hey, old school, first of all, I'm sorry that you're going through that. That, that's fucking rough as shit. Um, you know, and the fact that I could be there to bring you a little bit of comfort, though, on the day-to-day, -day, that, that's fucking awesome. But I hope everything gets better. I hope the mom's feeling all right today. Seriously, thank you so much for that, though. I appreciate the love. One of the dogs legitimately walked in front of my bullets, guys. Like, we all know this is how, exactly how it happened. I'm just going to sneak. It's a pretty decent. Damn, bro. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Your Fallout vids have been great. I've been taking care of my sick elderly mom and trying to do my job. I work from home. It's hard, but your Fallout vids have been a highlight of my day. Lord with the super chat keep talking keep digging it would crave man I'm, I'm i'm just i'm just trying to clarify you know this seems like there's a misunderstanding of what actually happened damn that's a pretty good speed limit on a road like this 75 miles an hour
The only shitty thing, being with this guy. Wasn't there... Wasn't there death claws over here? Yo, can we fast travel with this dude? And will he travel with us? Oh, thank you so much for this. It was an accident, he says, as he kills a sweet puppy in AC Valhalla. Wait, what? Now, see, wolves don't count. Oh, we, we, we talked about this. Wolves don't count. Okay, so it looks like he's going the back roads, actually. He's not going towards the death clause. Wolves don't count. There's a, oh fuck, there's an assault tron down there. I don't punch horses. <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna have to. Safety off. I think we have company. It was an accident, he says as he kills the sweet puppy on AC Valhalla. It was just trying to give you puppy love and you bam slaughtered it. Then you change your name to, Wolf Kissed, to celebrate your dog slaughtering. Check out this gutsy first. You're messing with the back. <laughs> There's no way, chat. Oh, what this, the dog finally got adjusted. No, dude. Yeah, we gotta we gotta skip out on this. These dudes are too much. We'll we'll just wait for him to meet us there. Old Far said you can't fast. Yo, that's crazy. Where is he? Yeah, he's making his way over here, I think.
find a chair or something, we could probably sit down and actually wait, right? Can I say happy birthday? Hey, happy birthday, Karani. Hey, let's get those happy birthdays in the chat for Karani, guys. It's my, my, one of my son's uh, friends. He's at her birthday right now. I hope she's having a good day, too. We're splitting all that, right? All right, let, let's pass some time here real quick. He should be here in two hours, right? There you go. Yeah, so we just we had to just sit down, wait, and boom, we'll meet him here. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's yeah. go. All right, let's do it. When I heard that this place was, yeah, this thing was blown to bits. Damn, the door is blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Combat armor chest piece. So right now I think I'm wearing metal chest piece. Yeah, I got the incendiary metal chest. Uh, has a chance to set people on fire. But the combat one I just got was 15 armor compared to 14. I'll keep this. Um, one that sets people on fire still for right now. Chained up on the other side. Wait, listen. Lefties, right about Get ready. Speed. Where that new juice is coming from? Hell yeah, it's gonna be worth it. How'd you get any of it anyway? Lefty doesn't even like you. I cashed in some favors with people who Lefty does like. You just saw it. Taste. You better be right. And lefty, we better share it out fair. Feel an eyes on my back. What's that? Now we're just starting to have fun. Keep digging that grave. Uh, Tim with the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Now, yeah, we got those, we got those birthday wishes in Tim and Dracker with the super chat. I appreciate you guys showing love. Seriously, we, we did that hit hard as hell right there. So we're gonna go ahead and pop right away. Brian, your wife asked you to say happy birthday to K E R A N I dog dog. <laughs> dog dog. Happy birthday, K E R A N I. Party popper clown face birthday cake. So we cleared that out. Let me actually go loot those bodies real quick.
Last, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it definitely looks good, man. Oh, splinters. Increase wears mover speed by another 10%. So this is a right leg. I think I have... Yes. Printers, right? And then we have the destroyers left. So now my movement speed's increased by 20%. We're, we're a fast boy now. from using the elevator nice nice we I mean, yeah. definitely need the charisma man I, I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down Sorry, Doc. Good. shot Don't quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here yeah <sighs> haven't seen anybody for quite a while I think it's hard to keep track of time are you sure you can't get up I could really use your help yeah Jack I'm pretty damn sure well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Let's get on with it. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Splendid. Now the nightmare motif. Oh, hell no. Safety off. I think we have company. You can't hurt me. You're messing with the. Come here, I need to carry some shit. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. Alright, so 
Throw some stuff on him real quick. I'm a little overweight. I'm going to equip this. Yeah, that will be way better than a crumpled fedora. Damn, McCree's already full. Go ahead, drop this. Coming, Doc. How far are we from our next level? Almost 17. We never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. Shit, dude. Yeah, your your companions can wear the armor, you would. Yes. Let's hope we can find a way through. Bonnie, how you doing? The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. from this Come place. On. We shouldn't be here. I don't know, like he ever tells us anything. Those mercs put up a good fight, huh? Yeah. Not exactly the pushover that we were promised. Well. Your people left. Huh? Hearing shit. Keep your ah! yes! 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 Ah! Legendary man does 50 more 50% 50 more damage against Mirelurks and bugs.
doesn't look too bad. Okay, a few throw rugs. Good as new. I wonder if that gun will do damn. You know the Myerlich, um Is it? Don't you gotta fight Myerlich when you take over the castle for the Minutemen? And I think there's like a Myerlich yes. queen or something like that. Maybe it's not a Myerlich queen. How much you got left in you? Let's say, do you think that gun will do good damage against them? That'd be pretty awesome. Fifty percent more damage. Yeah, I figured. I figured that'd probably be really strong against them. The gun sucks with any brilliance. <laughs> This gun is not hitting like I want it to. So we'll equip this one. Hey, Matt, Matt, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi. Lars, you see that? Matt, Matt, thank you so much for the super chat. I think I've got screws. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Locks really strong. Yo, can McCready open locks? McCready, where you at? Hey. What do you want? This will take us to the basement. Come on. Grab it's anything useful. Forget it. He's like, nah, dude. That ain't, that ain't. <laughs> Over here. They my lane. Fallout shelter? What is that? When did you start collecting antiques? Guys, thank you so much. We got almost a thousand likes. Hey, Jack. On the we need to hurry. Again, serious. That is crazy. We need the key. You open it, dude. Say, dude, you brought me here. Oh, it's a mobile game. Is it any good? all this science junk doing here. Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremlin. It's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. Has to be it's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father. 
I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. I'll be happy to show you how door. to get more Hurry. as soon as you let me out of here. Listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. We got someone serum here. Minus 36,000 rads plus five strength. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four of Remelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door, and let me out. Don't listen to him! Do not let him out! Yeah, what happens if you let him out? Uh, what did we do last time? Do the right thing. Let me... What did, what did we do on our last play? Out of here. I don't remember. Please, just open the door. Do not listen to him! This is what he does! Surely you can see that! Lying. As soon as you set the Abramelin generators, I can end this. Chad, does anybody remember what I did last time? Hurry. His powers are returning. If you don't set the generators soon, he'll free himself and then you're all dead. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one? Just set the last generator and I can end this. That's it. Don't worry. The Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! And upon me here forever if you'd had your way. You need worm. Do you truly think you? Power to destroy me. I have the DLC, Josh. Yeah. Goodbye, Father. There we go. Permanent inflict more limb damage. Can't take the artifact off them. Excuse me. We didn't have any other choice, did we? What would he have done? What would he have done if he'd gotten free? Oh, he would have killed both of us. And then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, 
rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. What now? I need to bury my father and shut down this place. I won't be back here again. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. 512, that's it? Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Okay. So we can come back, try to milk this dude for a little bit more, because we definitely just put in way more work than 500 freaking caps, dude. You guys are so damn stingy, man. Yeah, I'm five times our regular pay. Yeah, people always trying to give us like a hundred caps. They're like, hey man, go kill, go do this mission for us. I'm like, how much you pay? And they're like, hundred caps. Like, dude, I can't even buy it. Can't. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out. It's welcome. What makes you say that? Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Let's put it this way. Can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. Bro, you're half in the wall, dude. Money is everything, dude. Caps are pretty important. You're goddamn right they are. Right now, I need every Slowly cap I sucking can get. them in. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. Uh, I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> Those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. They've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. How much? How many caps do you need? I'm not sure. Honestly, that's not even what concerns me the most. I'm wondering how I'm going to pull it off. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless, maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Before you get that look on your face, let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. I'll help you, dude. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this, Head over to the Mass Pike Interchange, and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. So, in order to get the the campaign or the companion quest, you just gotta what? Have them follow you around and just do stuff with them. All right, so we got another level. We'll be dropping this into our lat uh, one point into agility here. All right, and now. Our next point will get us this blitz. Now, how far can you blitz from with level one? Like, like how, how far are we talking, guys? Hopefully it's it's more than a couple feet. I'll be I'll be very, very upset. People have been talking this blitz up for a while, so I've been looking forward to it.
I re yeah, I remember. I remember um, who McCready is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Fallout Three. So there's the area where he wants to go assassinate some people. Look at all this work we've been getting, Chad. We've been getting work. <laughs> we haven't even... We've done, like, none of the main stories so far. Um, wanted to go see Nick today. Like, I really, really did. So I think maybe we'll go... We'll, we'll do this mission here at the Mass Pike. I wanted to do Vault 81 too, but there's so much stuff just keeps coming up. I feel like we need to go talk to Nick though. We just keep getting sucked into everything else. How far am I from another? Okay, so yeah, we should get level 18 here soon. see anybody around here. Alright, Grimlock and Barn should be here. Let's take him down. Do it, dude. Cardboard cut out. I don't even have a lookout. I'm trying to see what the hell we're getting into here. Oh, is it up on top of the freeway? Oh, yeah, they're they're up top. Shit. Okay, we can get up right there. Got a turret. Wonder if we pop that turret, kind of lure everybody out.
barns. Are you coming up here, dude, or what? Fucking Assaultron? Shit. Running out of road, guys. What the hell is this, dude? Let's see, drop this assault trial and we're good to go. The two guys are down. Get the hell out of here. That thing is not going to die. Not with like ballistics. Wait there. Okay. Just give me a shout when you need me. Need me. Heads up. Fine. I'll hang out. Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. You weren't afraid the gunners will retaliate? The way these lunatics act, you'd think they would. But I know better. For the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. And they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. You don't owe me. You clearly needed the help. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. Tell you what, I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but... Now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. So we only had to pay him temporarily. Uh, headshots don't work. Um, too much armor. Legs are, are the best. Yeah, the assault trine is that, that thing was ridiculous. I mean, if I had a late, I think laser weapons are. I, I'm trying to use ballistic against it. No armor piercing, so it, it probably was barely tickling that damn thing. You know what I mean? Let's mark Vault 81. We'll, 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 we'll check it out on our way back. We'll at least see what it looks like. No emotions. What's going on? How you doing, man? Yeah, my guns are just kind of mad right now.
Creedy's still standing over there. Will he, like, teleport to me at a certain point, guys? Jasmine and Star, thank you so much for the membership. I really appreciate it. I've watched you know, a couple episodes of the show. I did order him to stay, but now... Will he... Uh, Will he come back to me? I'm not trying to walk my ass all the way back over there, dude. I found a relay tower here. What the hell is this? Extend satellites. Can't be place. See what happens if we do this. He's seriously gonna just stay there? Boston said he works, but okay, so we're finding more radio signals. God damn it, McCready. That shit's so little. J Man with the super chat, man. Of Lurk and I appreciate your streams. Loving uh the Fallout 4 streams. I uh, hope you do Sky or Modless playthrough. Um, so yeah, I was talking uh I've been doing a lot of research on Skyrim. Um and I think if I do play Skyrim. I want it because I I've only played the base story of Skyrim when the game first came out. I've never played any of the DLCs or anything like that. So there's a lot of content in Skyrim I'd like to see, and it being so long since I played Skyrim, like it'd be pretty refresh, honestly. But um, if I were to redo Sky play Skyrim on the channel, I would probably do. Uh, I found this thing called Novelis. And it's this most simple mod pack that really kind of shakes the game up, adds a bunch of cool stuff without me having to, like, um, where the hell did I cross? Okay, it's my thing, so we should be right there. There From the is. depths of lurking, I appreciate your streams. Loving the FO4 Heads stream. Up. Hope you What's do Skyrim mod list playthrough. I recommend Lore Rim mod list. I'm gonna play Skyrim on Survivor. I, I don't. I don't know. Whatever that that. Cause like I said, the Novelist uh, thing seemed pretty simple. Um, cause it's just an installer. Like you go, you click it, you click a couple buttons and it just does it for you you know what i mean um the problem with like building your own mod list and mod lists and things like this like it's very easy to like have the game be unstable and as a content creator the last thing you want to do is like start a series with an unstable mod list and then something breaks or you know what i mean and then the whole save is broken it, it's when you're playing on your own it doesn't really matter but when you have people invested in the series the last thing you want to do is have a bunch of crashes all the time or you know run into incompatibility like so that's why I just figure I run with one of those mod lists, um, like Novelist or something like that, and just clean, simple, one click button and done with it. You know what I mean? But I gotta, I, 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 once we get closer to actually figuring out, I'll probably figure out, uh, cause I know there's more than just Novelist that are like one click. You just get the launchers and it does it for you. So I'll probably talk to you guys and we'll kind of go over what the options are. And, um, you know, what one is better. Guys, we had a thousand likes again. Jesus. I appreciate the love. Okay. 
Okay, so we're almost to this vault. seems clear. Well, I don't think I went in this vault in my last playthrough. I, I can't believe how close it is to Boston, too. Look at this. That's ridiculous. real quick before going in this vault let's let's fast travel back to base we'll empty out our, our gear and then we'll come back i want to make sure we have a good a good size inventory go to the museum of witchcraft yeah I, I i thought we had a mission that brought us up there but we haven't been up i'll have to go later on Ten millimeter just ain't doing it for me right anymore, chat. I don't know why. It feels so weak. Plus two charisma on Lorenzo suit. Goods, McCready. Look alive. Excellent. Took his weapons away from him. My bad, dude. What sniper rifle did he have? Oh, so can you not take his gun? I definitely took his hat, though. Well? Oh yeah, I wanted the magazine out of that 10 mil. We're, to, we're gonna try to dress up my 10 mil that I have. It's just, I don't know guys, it feels like really not that great. But we're gonna try to uh, take some of the stuff off of this one and, and put it on ours. How we can do this? You're making that look easy. What do we have here? Let me grab the other 10 mil mods so we don't have to craft new ones.
nothing but scrap in here. I think I'm better off just crafting this other one for the other gun instead of taking it out of this because I still have to craft the standard just to take the other one out and it's like why we just, just use the resources and craft it. I mean I guess the standard would be cheaper to craft. Yeah I guess the standard would be cheaper to craft. So now we're going to dress this one up. Go ahead and put the new grip on. Put the large mag. So advanced receiver is the strongest one I can get. <laughs> Put a suppressor on there. barrel on there. I'm gonna throw glow sights on. There you go. So that 10 mil is dressed up, guys. That that's that's a nice gun. It's about as nice as we can get it for nice 24 rounds suppressed all right let's do it am i gonna check in with the rep with who, what rep mama murphy needs some jet no dude i only got eight though caspi I think I got eight. I got five, dude. We're running, we're running a little low, dude. Okay. You hear that bear up there? Yeah. We'll, let, we'll leave that be. Uh, yeah, we can do. Got. We are short of bed. 
I was going to talk to Cricket, but I didn't want to stand up and then have that bear come at me like a... And I spent my childhood living right next to a vault. These are some seriously bad memories I wish I could forget. Vault 111. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Wait, so this is an actual active vault? Yeah, we definitely never did this in my first playthrough. Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler, not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Depends. I need more details. Fair enough. Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. I mean, I got three fusion cores. That, that's a little expensive, chat. You guys think it's worth it? Done. I happen to have exactly what you need. Really? Well then, by all means, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. So what if they open the vault door and then I just kill them all? I just go vault 32 on them. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like That's this. That's fine. I didn't need my eyesight anyway. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. You know what? That's actually, I think, is this the first functioning vault? I think it's the first functioning vault that I've seen in any of the games that I've played. Like, you always start off and the, the vaults are empty. And every other vault that I've ever been into was empty. I think it's the first vault I've ever come into that actually has people still operating in it. Kind of like the show, you know what I mean? How those vaults are, like, still running. That's cool, though. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. You should be open-minded about the Commonwealth. It has its dangers, but it's got a lot to offer. It's the dangers that concern me. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. 
Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. <laughs> I won't. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Don't miss the vendor here. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Another outsider? What they let you in for? Here to do a little trading. We'll make it quick. We don't need your kind lingering around here. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. So fun. Hmm? McCready's a savage, bro. He just gets comfortable nowhere where he goes. Never had an incident on my watch. And I don't want to start that. No signs of radiation. Hey, Impressive. Ashes, where are you going? But they got a whole cat. Damn it. I heard we had a traitor in today. Careful, outsider. Piss anybody off. Oh, I was supposed to stop the cat? I just thought it was a cat, I didn't know bars, dude. I'm, I'm Oh, you can't stop the cat until you Oh, okay, okay. Well, not like riding in the elevator a bunch. I'm not gonna kill it. Hudsy, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Commonwealth? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. Hit me up. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. Yeah, this tour better be good, or I'm gonna fucking kill somebody else this in This is the stuff. depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot. So I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. Oh, I shit. bet he killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. We got some, we got some drama. We got some drama, chat. Calvin. The overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. 
does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. So is the depot where the, this trader that you guys are telling me I need, a, I need a visit? Is that right there at the depot? Kid. This... Okay. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you. This is the best part. This is... Sorry, dude. You have that Commonwealth what? No, 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 you little shit. I walked two feet away. You better finish the fucking tour, Austin. dude. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Mm, you whipping up a new batch of pies today? I heard Alexis promised one to Erin, and I know how you hate to disappoint the little ones. Marcus, he's really looking pretty bad in there. Oh, don't you go on thinking you're so clever. Those pies are going to be for Calvin and his crew. Lord knows they could use a treat right now. Hey. You tried telling that to Erin and breaking a little girl's heart. I didn't realize my wife was so cold-blooded. I swear, over 40 years of marriage... If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. The work never ends in Vault 81. Hey there. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Work by yourself? Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. Why not? It's good to talk about things. Well, I just hate to dump all my problems on someone I just met. I'm sure, compared to the Commonwealth, marital issues are so trivial. It's all right. You can tell me. I really shouldn't. Thanks for asking, though. Let me know if there's anything I may be able to help you with. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. All right, so they have a decent bit of bullets. Oh, is this that gun you guys were talking? Shoots an additional projectile. The Overseer's Guardian. That is quite nice. That's what, 62 damage times two? Or 66 damage times two? That, that's a nice gun. Problem is, I don't... I don't got the... I mean, we can get it at we can get it at a discount by trading that that little bit of gear there. We'll make up. We can make up for it. It's a really nice gun, guys. I, I do like this one. It'll be it'll be better than the 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 one I had. So I think I think we'll go with that. Screw it. We'll grab it. We'll be able to make up the money. We put in some work today. We got we got we still got some uh, hits and stuff like that that we have to still go do.
please. You haven't needed my help in years. Whatever it is, it can wait. Oh, so Aaron and I can just wait? You're gone more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Hi. So you're the new guy. I heard we let someone into the vault. How long do you plan on sticking around? Why, ask Why do you want to know? I'll ask the questions. I'm the one that lives here. I have a right to know. Long enough to have a good look around. Well, hopefully that means not long. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every straight traveler that comes our way. Now, where did I put those screws? <coughs> I think this dude's about to go... Link up with his fling. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Careful, outsider. You're still here. Damn, bro. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. I'm just trying to see if he's really doing something shady. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Yeah, I've, I'm, I'm up to like, I think I just finished episode three last night, so I'll be watching episode four tonight. I'm just trying to see if this dude is actually doing something. I don't know if we'll see him actually go anywhere. I just want to just... You don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Good. That's some nice stuff here, man. It's so crazy to see everything so clean. Got a uh, medical office here. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Uh, let me get some money, dude. I might, for some caps. You want to dicker about money? People's lives are at stake here. Either do it because it's the right thing to do, or I'll wait for the next Commonwealth visitor. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Thank you. This will be a great help. Now. I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. 
I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? I am addicted to... Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. Now, right go now? over your symptoms for me, one at a time. I've got an itch, doc. Too many chems. Got anything that can help? You're strung out, all right. Damn. I got something that can clean you up. I'm just gonna say I'm strung out. I'm not even that strung out. I took a couple things of jet, dude. I'm done. Now, was there anything else Fucking bothering you? Strung out. That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? Is that all you need, Doc? If you get sick or injured, go to Rachel first. She'll call me if it's worth my effort. I don't know why that guy just wanted my blood sample. So, to do stuff here, would we go talk to the overseer? Someday, I'm gonna check out the Commonwealth. If my grin lets me. Good thing I didn't kill everybody in here. There's like kids and shit, dude. That would that would have been savage as hell. Hey there. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. You know the the, the crazy thing about these Fallout games is like you could actually kill everybody. I don't know about the kids. Like we're we're not trying to kill kids, but you know what I mean. Is it boring here in the vault? No, I love teaching these kids. But it's not the same as fighting to survive. Would you mind talking to my class about life in the Commonwealth? Uh... What do they want me to tell? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions, though. Thank you so much. Nothing too violent? Okay. Peter, will you go fucking You're move, dude? Funny. Need something? Over here. All right. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Yeah. How... What topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? Uh, yeah. Fought a Deathclaw? It's a tough fight. Deathclaws are very dangerous. It was a tough fight. How did you beat it? Uh, yeah. You know what I mean, Chad? Can I go now? Whoa, kid, you, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, a group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Power armor, yeah. Uh, see, we, see, I'm not lying to these kids. I ran away from the Death Claw the second time, but I no, no, I killed the Death Claw. Yeah, I killed the Death Claw. I was in power armor. A uh, bling with the super chat, like a chump with a waste of can't persuade anybody. No, dude, I, I, I know we do got to put some points into. Um... Can I go now? No, no, no. Hold on. I... Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor. Wow. Uh. That's the death. I wasn't ready when the death claw crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. <laughs> Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently. Wow. That's awesome. 
Yeah, I didn't lie to these kids. I didn't know. Oh, I, no, no need to over embellish on my stories, chat. I can just tell them how it is. Got some spare ammo if you want. All right, so we got to go up to the overseer's office, right? If you need something, ask Alexis. I can't make heads or tails of her sort. Where did that boy get to? Austin? Austin Engel! Hopefully, 81 will quit her bussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. I'll be damned if that whole... Excuse me, Overseer. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Do they got any work in here, chat? Anybody I could get some work from? If you're looking to do some trading, look for the depot. We already Alexis did some trading. I want to. I want some work. Hi, Calvin. Sorry, new guy. Not a lot of time to talk right now. Not even for just a moment. A moment? Well, I suppose. Not like I actually want to get back to work. <laughs> What do you do here? Me? I'm just the lucky sucker in charge of maintenance here. Sorry if you heard me bickering with the overseer earlier. She and I don't always see eye to eye. So, there's a lot of upkeep going on right now. Hell, you could say that again. Old lady one here, the she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Mm, how much does he pay? How much are you paying? I'd say 15 caps per tool. Overseer won't let me go higher, but I'll take as many as you can grab. So he's talking if we find screwdrivers, wrenches, ball pin hammers, we can just sell them to you. Know, that, that's, that's not sure. a bad deal. You got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the Overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. Oh, where the hell is she the bar made... barber shops in here? Thanks, Horatio. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Uh, but she did. And now... Hell yeah. Let me unlock a new unique facial tattoo. Oh, you You're look going completely to read that French. Now? Just remember. Couple months and you come back and see me again. Now, off with you. Whatever you want, forget it. No I can't be bothered there, with it right now. But I'll try. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Another new face in the vault, eh? What is it we're needing now, fella? I gave some fusion cores to the overseer. Fusion cores? <laughs> Must be for something high tech. I was hoping for a crate of mute fruit myself. The people here. They're a bit overworked these days. Some blame the overseer. But it ain't Gwenny's fault. Poor girl. Just landed the right position at the wrong time. What's going on? Why are people so overworked? Well, you live in the same place for 200 years. Time just takes its toll. Until the overseer opened the vault to the traders, we were just slapping on one band-aid after the next. Now we're just scrambling to keep old lady one together. It's not easy being a leader. True words were never spoke. I wouldn't want her job in a million years. Well, I best be getting back to it. Don't want the old lady on me again. 62 years old and still fiery as ever. It must be rough living out there. Stay out of trouble. It goes for both of you. Seeds. I need more seeds. If you think you may be able to lend a hand, talk Heard to that. Calvin. I've seen the girl's Maybe name. Somebody said Aaron, right? Where the hell is she? Katie Pinn is a teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. I just seen that little girl's name pop up. But if you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. Child, child. 
Maybe she was upstairs. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Ashes. Oh, there she is. Okay, here we go. Talk to my mom if you want something fixed. Well, hello. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ashes gone? Yeah, I did. Let me get some money, kid. How much would you pay to get him back? You can have my teddy bear. I've kind of outgrown him anyway. I guess that... Well? It's not... Chat! Listen! It's not even like that! I I'll find the cat. <laughs> I'll find him for you. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back! Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Grant is a bottomless pit when it comes to food. You're still here? Another lamp. Right, what the do hell you do these people beat his ass. That they keep breaking? Poor Ashes. He must be so scared. Do I gotta find that little girl's cat? We've seen it run outside. I'm... Chad, listen. I thought she came from a wealthy family. Like, her parents are traders and stuff like that. So I didn't... I didn't think she was gonna have to trade me her teddy bear though. That that, that definitely made me feel some type of way. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Is that well, your pit boy? Better be. I already know that shit's gonna get added to the freaking list. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the hospital. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it. Wait, so did the cat run outside? Outside damn. Kitty kitty, find ashes. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diamond. You guys understand, right? I wasn't trying to like hit her up or anything. Stupid ass cat. Make a move and I'll end you. Oh, Drop your shit right now, dude. You are so disrespectful. Ronan with the super chat, man. Really, dude? What do you mean, pro tip? Try not to kill the cat. What? what, what that, that was never even something I was going to do. She she paid me in teddy bears. I got it. What's the cat right there? Come here, dude. They try to set my ass up. You see how they put the feral ghoul right next to the cat? They were they were trying to set my ass up. shit. 
Let's go, kitty, kitty. Can you, yo, you can actually target the cat, dude. That's savage. Yo, what if you really killed that girl's cat? No, please tell me you can't, chat. There's no way they would have let you do that. Does, any, does anybody know if you can kill the cat? Tone said you can, and there's only one way to know, dude. You savages. Anybody who said that you could kill the cat, savages. Because there's only one way to find out. If I saved and killed this cat, I would never hear the end of it. Even if I did it for science. I guess I'll play Danny K. I heard Austin got bit by a mole rat. Hi, how are you? What if you killed the cat right anymore. next to the girl, though? Cowboy pressed with the super chat. They're asking about killing. No, no, no. I was just asking Cowboy to, to test chat savagery and you see how chat talks about me and then everyone's like yeah yeah you can kill the cat how do you know that 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 it was a trap i was i was trapping him austin got himself bit by a mole rat so now they got us cooped up in here to watch aaron it's ridiculous Mister, I was so worried about him. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mom says I can give you this. Ashes. No, wait. You bad kitty. I hope you don't have I anything so that needs fixing. I really don't feel like Mom's work. gonna make me give you a bath. I really didn't want the teddy bear chat. Hey, sweetie. I'm so happy Ashes is back. I was so scared. Yep, good old lady one. She's going to hell in a handbasket. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. You, you're back. I'm not sure if you've spoken to Dr. Forsyth yet, but if you haven't, I really need your help. One of the children here is very ill. He's been bitten by some creature, and we need someone with good combat training to help him. Someone who knows the creatures of the Commonwealth. I'd like for you to please speak to Dr. Forsyth. He can give you the details. Yeah, I mean, I'll help I'll go see him, especially if it's a kid. Thank you. Dr. Forsyth should be in the medical center. We, we gotta definitely help out. Chad, if it's a kid, we, we don't we don't need to mess around with that. Ronan with the super chat, man. You saw it. I don't know about you. Brian steals kids' teddy bear. I didn't steal it. I earned that teddy bear fair and square, man. Don't try anything. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat up. Austin Look at until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. That mole rat we have an emergency here. Up. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. 
He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I'll do it for Austin. I'll do it. For Austin. You have a good heart. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Don't worry, Austin. Outsider? Do hey, remember what I said. What? Hey, Tina. Hey, Outsider? Do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Yeah. Uh, why would I give I, I We already got one jet freaking think, man. I don't need All another right. one. Hey, remember what I said. Give him jet, dude. Everybody's always trying to suck up all the jet, guys. Like, what's up with that? Tech built all sorts of secret sections into their vaults. Breeding program update. More rat breeders. Serum production of created 190. I don't even want to know what this one was for. MJ, thank you so much for the one month. I appreciate it. Chat says, do a save. Yeah, we... Attempt to apprehend. Kill. Kill. 
Continuing search for fugitive. Got it. Hey, I got the new rifle, Andy. I, I'm not using it right now. Um, for uh, the I got the extra stealth damage here with the with this gun. Got to change the optic on this though. This thing has got like a gnarly ass sniper scope on it. I hope I can turn this. Sometimes they allow you to hack into the uh the protectrons you could program them So we get a try reset. See any other oh, here we go. There we go. Try reset. Okay, so So is it always the the greater than less than those give you try resets and the brackets and the parentheses give you remove dud removals? Okay, so it was one likeness with neon, so I'm thinking it has to do with an E. Yes. Spectron. We'll activate. Choose personality. We'll do law enforcement. Why didn't he go live? I don't want. I'm a little worried because some. I, I think I feel like I left let a projector on out one time and and it still attacked me.
thought he was hidden. I think he was. Hey, Perokas, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. How you doing today? Getting his little nose sticking out the ground. Pretty damn creepy. I just don't know what I can do. They had no idea they were being watched. Why him? You'll see. It is good that one. There's somebody who's spying on him. Check my status, see if I got bit. I don't think I got hit a single time since I've been in here. Yeah, I haven't been bit by anything. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice home. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. Idiot. So what are these, like, the, the zombie point? apocalypse level... ...mole rats or something? Observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Have to put Austin down, chat? Yeah, so now the gun's hitting nice, guys. Dude. Okay, that's just about the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life.
All these tools we can sell to that dude, too. Uh, we're playing on hard, Aaron. Uh, and Jamie with the nine months. I have to watch you play. I now have to play as well. I have so many mods to update. Oh, dude. I hope you enjoy it, though, man. Yeah, it's a good time. I'm playing pretty vanilla right now. I only a mod I installed was the, uh, was the patch. To fix the, um, you know, I don't know, it's just called the Fallout 4, like, patch. Fixes, I guess, broken quests and whatever. So I'm running that, and then the see-through scopes, and that was it. with this jump. I have no idea what any of it does. The passcode for the vault.
So what do we need for the... There's a cure on the other side of that wall. Terminal should open this. Okay, we got the passcode for this. Gotta find the terminal. Here we go. We're in there, baby. Bobblehead inside there too. Ooh, who's this? Useless. Hey, open the door. Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or CVR, I, the human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Vault Tech Security? Uh, no. These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault tech security? Damn, robot, no, dude. Yeah, I'm... I'm yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now... Please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Did you? We, we got the, we, we got the Since juice. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, Please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Well, 81 cure. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Bingo. Stimpax from a heal, 10% more damage. That's awesome. So, yo, that so Austin got infected. Is there like somebody else that gets infected too? And now we gotta choose who gets the cure? Or is it just Austin? Oh, we can get infected? I didn't though.
Wait, so what happens if you get infected? There's only one Kieran, you gotta figure... You gotta choose between Kieran yourself or... Or the kid? That's rough. What, it, what does the infection do to you? You get a permanent debuff? Damn, that's rough. Yeah, I didn't get I didn't get bit. I kept all the mole rats at a distance. So much to learn and see. Good thing we didn't get bit, man. That would have sucked. Making that choice would have been rough. Jonathan with the super chat. Thank you so much. I uh, just wanted to say the Resident Evil 8 Village walkthrough helped you a ton. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Jonathan. I appreciate the love too, man. It means the world to me. I wonder how the Ebola, hepatitis, and influenza have mutated over the years. If I was infected, it would tell me. I would have a I'd have a debuff marker. Plus, I didn't get hit a single time when I was in there. Like I said, I kept everything at range for the most part, so. Terminal only. Let's be honest, we all know where that, I would, I would, I would, I don't know. I would have had to heal Austin still. I don't know if I could have just let the hit Q at the, okay, I'll, try, I'll hit Q. I don't know if I could just let the kid die. Yo, keep up the good work. And I just wanted to say your Resident Evil 8 Village walkthrough helped me a ton. Thank you, brother. I don't have any anything here, guys. Yeah, I'm not infected. I'm good. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab. She may... Remember, no funny business. Permanent debuff sounds rough. The kid will get over it. Now people said the kid will die. Back again, we'll be watching you. Hey, look at him, dude. We can't let him go out like that. Hello, Dr. Forsyth. The cure. You found it. Here, take the cure. And use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. Ms. Cre if it doesn't, McCready dislike that? There won't be anything to analyze to try again. Yes, we a so have a good rest works. of your night, brother. I heard you had returned. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good, Caspi. I appreciate you hanging out, brother. McCready disliked wrong. helping a kid? He's a savage. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again. 
Thank you. I, I hope you Grant? enjoy your accommodations. I, I wanted to say thank starving. you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. If vault Tech had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. There's see chat there it is. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Honor more data to challenge my hypothesis. Uh, okay. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? So is she a, um, is she a companion? Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Oh shit. Dude, we got lots of companion missions to do now. We gotta get McCready back though. Watch yourself. So that mission I did for McCready, was that the la was that all of his companion stuff or is there more the McCready stuff like as I level up a little more? Hey design, holy crap, thank you for the five Still gifted men. How you doing today? Don't want any trouble in eighty. Just the person I wanted to see. Oh, 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 what's up, lady? Dr. Pensky. Just the person I wanted to see. I wanted to thank you for what you did for Austin. It was the right thing to do. You'll hear no arguments from me. It was a selfless act, something we don't see much of from the Commonwealth. You're a rare breed. The kind we could use more of, both inside and out of Vault 81. Anyway, I'm sure you have plenty of things to get back to. I just had to say thank you for saving Austin. I may have my life's work, but that boy is what really keeps me going. Damn, so my, my other playthrough, I should have missed out on just straight up getting companions. I didn't even get this lady. Or this robot. It's so crazy how much you can miss in this game. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna get McCready back, uh, keep him going with us, and then. Uh... Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to sell those tools to that dude. Damn it. I was supposed to sell the tools. So is there any more quests in this in this uh vault here? Or is that was that the vault's quest line? Is there no more? Thank God Ashes is back. 
Aaron is crazy about that cat. Where's Calvin? Calvin's always looking for tools. I, I heard he'll pick cats if you got him. Where, where is he? This is what I was hoping for. Oh, that's Calvin. Yes? Not Calvin. Where's Calvin at? You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't Calvin tried to better steal not him. have me walking around looking for Is him. that I'll your smack. pit boy? Better be. Hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room, high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. Damn. Uh -oh, let him die. Yeah, that, that's... Any idea how I can do that? You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight. Yeah. You see what I'm saying, Sarah? There's so much to do in this damn game, it's kind of crazy. I'm starting to feel like I, I literally played like 20% of this game. Where's Calvin at? I'm literally about to slap somebody in the mouth if he doesn't show up in the next three minutes. Careful running around the vault. Lots of maintenance going on. If you want a good meal, stop by the Sunshine Diner come morning. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. I think maybe it's because it's nighttime. Yeah, everybody's going to the rooms. So if we pass time in our room, um, the overseer's can... demanding more training drills now. I think that was. Austin sure recovered fast. Thanks to you. Hey there, you got some tools for yeah, me Yeah, bro, I seen your head from all the way over there. Yeah, here you go. Perfect. Keep an eye out. We can always use more. See, I seen the back of his head, chat. Bro, don't. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy doing what? Getting high? So what? After all that shit that happened with Austin? I need this, man. Bro. Leave me alone. Save some for me, bro. You need to quit. Austin almost died because of your habit. You're putting others at risk. But how am I supposed to do it? I can't handle that withdrawal shit. Not after everything that's happened. Rachel has a chem called Addictol. It's supposed to help ease the symptoms. I don't know, man. That week I tried to get clean, you don't even want to know how bad it got. But I guess it's worth it, right? It's gotta be. All right, I'll do it. I'll go right now. Does that not belong to someone? No, it doesn't belong to someone crazy. Huh? You want a good meal? See Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Anyway. Right, so he's getting help. I 
But how the hell do I get to her? Oh, it was through that reactor room, right? Tina. Did you did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? He's nervous, but he made the right decision in the end. He's going to see Rachel. Thank God. That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. Wait, what? You actually want to leave? Every day. Maybe after things settle down here, we finally will. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. Maybe someday, but I have a feeling Bobby's gonna need me here. Besides, I gotta keep an eye on him. Make sure he's all right. You know, I was trying to, trying to get Tina to come with a shot. My charisma's too low. Oh, yes. So we got our level. I didn't even realize we leveled up. So now I can get Blitz. I don't. So the regular Mentaz doesn't increase your your speech, though. It's the. I think you need the grape ones, right? So we got the. We got the ability to use Blitz now for melee vats. Huh? I want to see how this works. We keep the vault safe. Fuck, dude, that's I'm over here just trying to test something. So the first level of Blitz seems like you still got to be quite close to them. That one works. Yeah, so you still got to be pretty close to him for the... What, so, does level 2 give you, like, pretty good range? Because level 1's alright. But, yeah, you still got to get pretty close.
Once our stealth is a little bit better, we'll be we'll be way better off too. Oh, this was uh hangman alley this yeah i was sitting here i i lived here before yeah i had a uh, a settlement here this is where the uh Sweet. the dog meat incident happened We just got to get some more points into, into stealth and we'll be good to go. So we got Hangman's now unlocked. There's a really nice blade from Nuka World. Yeah, so this sword that I have here is the... Uh, what the hell was the name of it? Yeah, the Kremiv's Tooth. Yeah, we got it from the bottom of the uh, the little mine area. Oh, now she's she could be friends with Codsworth. We gotta get McCready back wherever he is. build some beds we got a lot of stuff we got to do here my weapon mods um what do you mean weapon mods like well what modifications i have on what are you building so for this it just has the sacrificial blade this one has the Powerful receiver, long barrel. Um, this one we have. Oh, I, yeah, this we need to swap that freaking sight out. Yeah, we'll do a reflock, re reflex dot. Gun nut ring four to suppress that. That's that's gonna be a little bit.
Yo, single shot? I was gonna run it with the with the commando. Yeah, I was gonna run it with like uh kinda like I'm running this one. I wanted to run it uh with commando. Commando uh, double shot, I feel like it'll melt. Suppressed stealth commando double shot. Like that has to hit different guys. Nothing I hate more than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down for me. Damn, okay. are looking good. Got our suit. Drop that. So we got this on one. We got this on two. Overseer's Guardian will have on three, and then our sniper rifle on. Beautiful. So our guns are, are looking pretty good right now. Uh, we got our melee blitz, but we're gonna have to work on stats or on, on getting another level of it to get the range that we want. But um, a, we we gotta start working on our stealth. That way we can even get close to things in melee. Because right now we're having a hard time um, just kind of closing that distance and even getting close to stuff. But We'll, we'll make it work guys we'll make it work we didn't make it to nick today unfortunately um we've been going for like almost five and a half hours jesus christ i didn't even realize it's, we've been streaming that long but i feel like we, ma we made some good progress today i had fun guys we we've been all over the place kind of did a little bit of everything besides the main story uh <laughs> but i hope you guys are enjoying this again i had i had a blast today uh remember if you guys want more fallout all you got to do is smash that like button subscribe Drop comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And um, yeah, we'll be back with some more Fallout. Uh, so again, I, we got over a thousand likes. Like, absolutely insane. You guys are amazing. I, I really, really appreciate the support. All right, but we'll be back tomorrow with some more streams. Um, I might even be releasing a video in the morning for you guys. But we'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. Uh, so hope that I'll see a bunch of you guys there. Um, if not, hey, I hope you have a great rest of your day. But everybody, have a good night. See you in the next one. Peace.